Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the video tutorial on static NAT, network address translation. So with static NAT, routers or firewalls translate one private IP address to a single public address. Each private IP address is mapped to a single public address. Static NAT is often used because it requires one public IP address for each private IP address. So let us go into this scenario. An organization has a server, web server. It is running a web application. And this web application is accessed from outside network. Let's say the PC0, which is in the outside network. Okay, which are so the PC0 or any systems in the outside network, they would access the web application which is in the which is running in the server zero. So this server is configured with the is configured with the private IP address, private IP address, and the packets when they cross this border gateway router when they enter the public network these packets cannot be routed in the internet public network because the routers in the public network they do not route the packets with private IP address okay so now we have to map when when, when any packets from the server, when it comes to this router, from this packet, the private IP address has to be removed and the public address which the organization procured from the internet service provider has to be mapped. This concept is called network address translation. We call this as static. Why? Because for each device, let's say for this server, we are going to assign one public IP address and that public IP address is mapped only to this server private IP address. And this public address, what we are going to assign to this server is not used for any other system. Okay, so let us say the organization has got this public IP address 100.10.10.1 this public IP the organization has got from the internet service provider so this public IP is going to be used to map with the private IP address so in the network configuration network address translation NAT configuration we are going to use this public IP okay so what are the steps in this configuration so first what we have to do is you have to identify which interface is inside and which interface is outside which interface is NAT inside which interface is NAT outside so this is the inside network right so from the, in this inside network the traffic is going out okay through which interface through the fa 0 slash 0 so this is inside so we have to go to this interface fa 0 slash 0 and you have to uh, run this statement ip nat inside and then you have to go to interface sc2 slash 0 and then you have to run this state ip nat outside let's do that so enable config t so interface fpa 0 slash 0 okay then ip nat and you have to say this this interface fpa 0 slash 0 so inside then exit that interface 
SE to slash zero. Okay, then you have to say IP NAT outside. So this uh, two statements are finished. Now very simple. Now we have to map the private IP which we have configured in this server. We have to map this private IP to the public IP what we have got from the organization from the ISP provider. Clear. So we go to the router. Okay. Then exit in the config port. So you have to run this command IP NAT inside. So we are going to configure the static inside NAT. So we have to use the statement IP NAT inside. Don't use outside. IP NAT inside. Okay, then which what is the source IP address? So we have to say source. If you forget to the question mark, source. So source, are you going to use the list or static? We are going to go for static. That means one private IP to one public IP. Okay. So what is the IP of this uh, system? IP of this server is 192.168.10.10. So 192 10. Okay, then what is the public IP that you have that we have obtained from the ISP provider? Let us say the public IP what we have got for this server, let's say it is 100.10.10.1. Okay, 100.10.10.1. Okay, so the address. Okay, what is the mistake? You know, I forgot to mention static otherwise everything okay so now the NAT configuration is over so IP NAT inside source static okay this private IP address is mapped to this public IP address is it clear to you okay so then after that let's say and write okay show run you can check the configuration Okay, you can see with the interface IP NAT inside and the serial inter IP NAT outside. Okay, so you can see this IP NAT inside source static. This private IP is mapped to this public IP. Okay, so after you uh, you finish the configurations, please try to understand. The private IP what we have configured, what we have uh, used is called inside local. This is the inside local address. And this for this address, we are giving this public IP. No, this is called inside global. This public IP what we are giving to this okay system is called inside global. And the private IP is called inside local. These are very important terms that you must know in the NAT concept. And please understand, these are outside network. So in the outside also, there are two terms on there. One is outside local and outside global. So here, this system, okay, is, okay, outside local as well as outside global. We are going to use, we are not going to focus on the outside network. So we are concerned about the inside. That's why these terms are very important. So please, this private, again I repeat, the private IP here is inside local and the public IP, what you map to the private is called inside global, global, okay. So after that, what you do is just go to the here, open the browser, Okay, let us access this uh, web application running in this server using the public IP. What is the public IP? 100.10.10.1. So we are able to access. After you finish the access, just go to the router. Okay, then show IP NAT translation. So you put this command, you can see now. Okay, 
so inside global i told you no the public ip what we gave to the the public ip what we gave here what we configured here is inside global and what is the inside local? Inside local is the private IP which is uh, already assigned to this server. And we are calling, we are accessing this uh, web application from this system. It's outside local as well as outside global. This is outside local as well as outside global. Is it clear to you? So uh, this is how you can configure the static NAT Okay. In case you have one more server, let's say email server or file server, just assume you get one more public IP from the ISP provider, let's say 10.2 is used, 10.3 is used, let's say 10.4 is the public IP, you have one more public IP which you have got from the ISP provider, so you can use for that second server 10.5. Okay, so the organization will procure set of IP addresses, public IP addresses. So from that set, you can uh, give allocate uh, the public IP addresses to the servers. Is it clear to you? So that you have to use in the NAT configuration in this border gateway route. So that's all I have for this uh, static NAT. Okay, next topic will be dynamic NAT. Thank you very much.